Hello, you're with Greg Karch and learn to fish with us. Today we're going to talk about ice fishing safety. First of all, if we're ice fishing, usually I like to have four inches of ice if I'm out there. If I'm driving my ATV out there, I like to at least have six inches of ice. If I was to decide to take a car out, I'd like to have 12 inches of ice. And if I'm taking my truck out, I'd like to at least have 14 to 16 inches of ice. Most of the time, I don't take my vehicle out. I take my ATV out. Um, if, if I was going out ice fishing for the first time, what I want to do is I'd like to test the ice. So if I was, I'd be on shore and I'd go with a spud bar and I'd test and see if it would go through or not. And then I'd just go walk, test it again, keep walking. So that's what I do. I actually test when I'm ice fishing, when the ice I know is uh, thin. The next thing I want to also talk about is I want to talk about the equipment I actually have on right now. When I go out ice fishing, I like to have a few things. One, I like to have a whistle to let people know if I do fall through they can hear that a long way. Another thing I like to do is I like to have ice spuds. These are safety. What happens is these spikes come out and they'll dig into the ice. So if you slip in, you'll have these around your neck and then what you can do is press and they'll actually, they can actually pull me forward. So another thing I like to always have on See that? This whole time I bet you didn't even know I had a life preserver on. So it's a little chilly today so I'm going to zip up. Other things I like to have is creepers. Right now you can see I'm not sliding around. It's because I got my actual got my creepers on right now. This prevents you from slipping. You could easily slip and fall down and hurt yourself very easily. Another thing I always have on board in my shanty is I have rope. Should somebody else fall in, I can easily help them out without having to get really close to them. One of the other aspects of safety, believe it or not, is your ice auger. Your ice auger has very sharp blades. In this ice fishing season, I've known of a couple of my buddies already that have cut themselves. So, the one thing I can really recommend here is when you're ice fishing, you're done with your auger, put the cover back on. That way the blades are protected. When we're ice fishing, we got to stay warm. If you start feeling your fingers or any part of your uh, body going numb, you might be getting frostbite or you might be really cold. So what I like to do is have warm packs, but not only that, right today I have long underwear on, I have a nice frable hat on, and then I always have extra clothes, uh, you know, to make sure that I stay warm. But if you're feeling numb or cold, it's time to call your fishing trip. When the sun is out, it is very bright. So it reflects off the snow, reflects off the ice, so, I always like to make sure to have a pair of sunglasses ready to go. Today it's a cloudy day, so most of the time I wouldn't wear them. But on a sunny day, these are just very useful to have. So, those are some ice fishing safety tips 